talking to himself. That came over. And I think there's an important Love psychological thing here of when they're actually changing ends, Pat. They're, as I mentioned before, Volander has been the first up from his chair every time. He's been at least 30 seconds ahead of McEnroe. And I think he, Fly, he senses that McEnroe may be feeling the heat a little bit. And it's good to keep that psychological pressure on. Say, hey, I'm not feeling anything. I'm ready to go. Let's get at it. gear if you can so big chance for Matt's here to get an early break in the fourth set be a long way back for McEnroe if he does You know, McEnroe's approach shot was not the <laughs> short. It's quite good. And Belander, well behind the baseline, rips it cross court, and he has triple break point in the first game of the fourth set. And Belander leads two sets to one. that time by Matt got him in trouble. I don't think it's my imagination. Hasn't the temperature dropped? Well, and there's a little bit of a cool breeze. A little long breeze. Enough. I wonder what that gauge is at now. Well, I'm sure that we would have certainly a look be a, a big boost to McEnroe if the temperature were to drop uh, by five or ten degrees. It yeah, hadn't dropped too much. That's Still hot, isn't it? Over 100. You know, these players are not accustomed to playing three out of five set matches. They don't do it much. They have tiebreakers. Normally, throughout the year, they play indoors without sun, without wind, without having to worry about the elements. They play two out of three in tiebreakers. Now over there is Bill Talbert, the tournament director. Now they come out three out of five for two weeks, and it can take its toll physically. It's not the fact of playing the three out of five sets. It's, I think that the heat is the, is the thing. I don't know. I've experienced it myself over different times where you get a little bit of heat uh, exhaustion and it's very hard to get your body through that. Great shot. Be good. 30 off. Elander has been in the net 14 times and won 12 of them, including that last situation. So he's having a lot of success going in. Of 
40-30. We've seen him do that a lot today, haven't we? The, the passing shot, instead of trying for a clean pass, just get it down low at the feet. And McEnroe has been running through some of his volleys. Instead of stopping and making the volley, he's keep moving forward and trying to make the volley, and that was a very difficult shot to try in the first place. Right. First serve. Nothing you can do about that. Just say too good. Belander trying to hold serve and take a two love lead in this fourth set. Let's quickly go to John Tesh. Want a break? No. McEnroe serving love two in the fourth. He's really had a problem throughout the match with his first serve. right there but there were so many good shots you see the reaction of the lander so many tremendous shots by both players he's like he was like a bull terrier in that oh. point refused to let go of it points like that will get you in shape no matter what you do to yourself got to be pretty fit. He ran all over the court that last point. And he, I mean, he, I didn't even see him breathing deep. That's a really good effort from McEnroe after losing that first point. That could be a bit of a heartbreaker and come back and win the next three. That's, that's really toughing it out. Game to McEnroe. 
Belander leads two to one, fourth set. 